Less than a month ago, hundreds of coaches and athletes were gathered in the Ritchie Auditorium at St. Cloud State University. That's where administrators told them six programs were being cut in efforts to save $250,000 of a half a million dollar deficit from the athletics department. This would save roughly 5% of the department's general funds for next year. The eliminated sports include men's and women's tennis, men's indoor and outdoor track and field, men's cross country and women's Nordic ski. In addition, the rosters of both football, wrestling, and baseball also will be reduced. Last night, athletes and supporters rallied to fight these changes by signing a petition. Reporter Sarah Redling caught the emotions and the hope of people trying to make a change. It's not real. I didn't want to believe it. Um, complete denial. The first few days were just like really hard for everyone. It was just like a grieving process, like someone died almost. And it was just a whole bunch of crying. Um, just sad because we were, we didn't know it was coming. We found out literally when they told us. They didn't, they didn't tell the teams that got cut beforehand. This is, we all found out at the same time. Despite playing different sports, feelings of shock, loss, and betrayal were shared. I was so excited to represent the university and it's just really hard to have the university that I came here for do that to me and to us. Among their shared emotions surfaced hope. I found out that, you know, it wasn't over. Uh, some of the women's tennis players and the wrestlers decided that we're going to fight this even more. Um, so that was good to see, and it's nice that all the sports are getting involved too. Over 100 students lined up to sign a petition to reinstate their programs. We need to at least try to fight this. Um, worst case scenario, we're in the same scenario we are in now. Larry was the head tennis coach for over 20 years. A lot of good memories though. After retiring, he's been back at it for 10 years, volunteering as the assistant coach. First of all, so sad for the players that it had been done in a way I thought it lacked compassion. After a career of teaching accounting at SCSU, Larry decided to look into the numbers of the school's plan. Actually, athletics is saving money, but the university as a whole is losing money. Larry explains the amount of tuition lost from the student athletes who are now transferring outweighs the 5% athletics is saving by cutting the programs. I mean, I really calculate the university has worsened their budget problem by five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000 because of this decision. That night, athletes and supporters gained over 230 signatures on a petition to reinstate their programs. Larry says if the petition fails, the next step will be to file a civil rights complaint to the U.S. Department of Education. Sarah, what happens if the civil rights complaint is filed? Well, Jenna, it means an investigation will take place to see whether or not St. Cloud State is in compliance with Title IX, which requires institutions to provide equal athletic opportunities for both men and women's sports. And Sarah, did anyone from administration speak at this rally? No, they actually didn't, but UTVS News did speak with Tammy McGee, the Vice President of Finance today, on the issue. Here's what she had to say. ...and support that the students and the student athletes have given each other throughout this tough time has been remarkable. It's been commendable. Um, the university is in the midst of making some really tough budget decisions and been looking at right-sizing the university in ways that it's able to strengthen its ability to deliver against its mission of educating students. And President Potter, Athletic Director Weems, have made decisions in Husky Athletics that remain.